So I was just driving the drill, really tired. I fell asleep at the wheel. They, they just think, what happened to me? I have no clue why I wasn't wearing my seatbelt that day. I have no idea. I was on my way to drill. Um, I had missed my weekend drill, so it was a Monday morning, and I was going to make up the time that I had missed. And so I was just driving the drill, really tired. And you prepare yourself for my child's soldier. And war isn't pretty. So I'm prepared. I think I am that if war injures them or takes them, um, that's the chance we took. Blew me away. She was just going to drill. <laughs> she wasn't in a battle. She was just driving to drill. Then she'll never walk again. Got to bed late and got up the next morning. I think I got up around 5.30 and it takes three hours to get to my unit. And I got in the car and drove. I was just exhausted. Well, I fell asleep, and I, I fell asleep at the wheel, and I wrecked. By the way, I woke up and I um, realized what was happening and tried to put it back in control, and overpowered it, and then it just rolled. Family members are calling you, and it's it's this is wrong, this is wrong, this is going on. You know, is she gonna make it? Is she gonna not? And the nurse gave me the details that she had and said that she couldn't feel from the waist down. And, uh, and I almost lost it then. I, that was, um, it took my breath away, a sucker punch. I felt like I went out the window and the car rolled over top of me and left. I was hanging halfway in, halfway out, and it rolled and left me in a brush pile and and I laid there. You know, the older family members just total devastation, weeping, crying, wanted to help, obviously help Karen, but there wasn't only the only people that could help were the doctors, obviously. Um, it was shock, traumatic shock for the whole family. I have no clue why I wasn't wearing my seatbelt that day. I have no idea. I was furious. But I couldn't say a word to her. I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't, because she didn't do this to me. She did it to herself. Brokenhearted. That's all it is. You're just totally crushed in, in terms of there's nothing that I can do to make her feel better. What do I say? You know, I, I don't know what she's going through. I don't know what, I don't know what mom's thinking. I don't know what dad's thinking. And had I had it on, I would have been held in the seat and nothing, I can't say nothing because things could have went differently, but I wouldn't have fallen out of my car. I, you know, like my car landed up against two trees on the passenger side. So had everything went the same and I had my seatbelts on, I could have walked away from the accident. And yeah, yeah, she did this to herself, but she did it to me. Because whatever she needs, it's always me. It has to suck it up and do it. And I will. I, I always will. That's not the problem. It's like, why didn't you wear that stupid seatbelt?